precious Lamb of God, this morning we want to thank you for joining us on Bible Boot Camp. We are in our 29th day of Bible Boot Camp, 29 days, and we believe and know that God has brought us thus far. Imagine this whole month we've been talking about taking necessary steps towards Jesus Christ. And I believe and know that God wants us to take necessary steps towards him because he wants us. He, 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 he wants us to be closer to him than we've ever been. And so today I welcome each one of you to our 29th day of Bible Boot Camp. We're now in our 29th day of Bible Boot Camp. And we know that God woke us up this morning, started us on our way, and he's asking us to continue to, to take necessary steps towards him. I want to pray right now as we go into this moment in time. And I also believe that mo mornings are better when you talk to God first. And so we want to talk to him first, even now. And uh, I believe in prayer. And, and this whole uh, mindset that we're having right today uh, is all about prayer. Taking steps towards him, but in prayer. And so we ask God to be with us as we look to him who's the author and finisher of our faith. Let's pray together. Father, again, we want to thank you for another day that you have given us. We want to thank you for life and strength and this opportunity of praise and now prayer. And we're asking that your Holy Spirit will be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. And so I want to welcome you again to another day of Bible Boot Camp. We are in another day of Bible Boot Camp, 29 days. we got two more days left. And in these two more days, we're asking you to, to stay strong, we already know that once you pass the 21 day mark, that means you have now begun or have developed a new habit. And that habit is waking up and stretching your spiritual muscles that even though we won't be on for the next month, it is so important that you continue your devotional life with him. What a beautiful song we just listened to. Now behold the lamb. And as I, as I look at that, I ask, who are you beholding? What are you beholding? Who are you paying attention to? And, and because we know by this word that beholding, you become changed. And if you're holding on to something else or beholding to something else, I beg of you to try Jesus. I want to share this with you simply because I recognize and know that this word is so important when it comes to prayer. So I'm going to ask you to do something real crazy, really different than what we've done before. I'm going to ask you to take your time now and write down your prayer request because I want you to believe in what you're praying for. I want you to ask God in what you're praying for. But more than that, he wants you to rely on him through prayer. So I'm going to ask you right now, wherever you may be, whatever you may be doing right now, to write down your prayer request and uh, write it down whether it's on Facebook, write it down whether you're on uh, Periscope, write it down whether you are um, uh, on our Full Circle TV channel. It is so important for you to write this down because today we're talking about prayer. But we want for you to develop your faith as you believe more than ever before that God can do for us what we can't do for ourselves. Let's look at this right now in prayer. Some people are asking that they uh, uh, they th that God be with them concerning their children's education. I see that one there. Others asking for healing, healing for an aunt named Waveney. Okay, we want to pray also for that. Safe travels also today. There's someone asking. I see you. I see you, uh, uh, Miss Earl. Um, uh, to check on your, your folks. Safe travels today. Joseph Chu, okay, says it's their dad's 77th birthday. Beautiful. Um, John's release from uh, incarceration in 2018. Pastor Lance's daughter, okay, Pastor Lance's daughter. We're looking at all of this, okay. We're praying for parents. Time A is praying for parents. There are those who are continuing on in prayer, and I, I believe in prayer because with much prayer, there's much power. I want to keep looking at the, Natasha's dad who's gone back to the hospital today. We are praying, praying, praying because we believe that, that there is an answer uh, to prayer. We're looking again at our different prayer requests, and we believe that, um, that prayer is the answer. Prayer is the answer. So we want to continue to ask for your prayer request. Today is that moment that we want to build our, our faith in him. We want to build our faith in him through prayer. So I believe that it's so important for us to continue on in prayer. Someone is asking for prayer. Uh, they're asking for healing and forgiveness. Someone is asking for healing of their mind. 
Come on now. Someone is asking for their finances. Uh, Anika is asking for uh, prayer for her family, for wisdom, for guidance. Claudia is asking for prayer for her family. Um, there are those who are asking for a special prayer for Denise, praying for Denise again uh, with her heart condition. Also, others are praying for their jobs and for their co-workers. Uh, there's others there who are praying um, who are praying for family members. Beautiful, beautiful. That their steps may be ordered. That's another one, that their steps may be ordered. Uh, there's those who are praying uh, for their mom who's in the hospital, believing that God is able. Um, we are recognizing that God is able. And so we're asking now that as we continue to pray and as we continue to look to him, that he will truly hear and answer our prayers. So what have you been praying for? Have you been praying for a spouse? Have you been praying for a mate? Have you been praying for a relationship? Have you been praying for more finances? Have we been praying for a sin issue that's going on in our lives? Uh, there's somebody who's praying for Edwin who has been uh, in jail for almost three months. Mm, a brother Edmund, who, uh, I mean Edwin, who's been in jail for three months. And, and, and we're looking at this because if you want an answer to something that's going on in your life, it is so important to look to God in prayer. Someone is saying, God, I need to hear your voice. You hear your voice. Um, uh, there's others that need to hear God's voice. Maybe we need to shut out some other things. Loretta is praying for increased faith, okay? Uh, completing uh, her PhD. Others are praying for a full-time job. You know, you know, when you hear all these prayer requests, we're recognizing that as we take steps towards him, he wants us to ask. He wants us to come to him. He wants us to say uh, that we depend on him. So as we have traveling mercies today, as we are um, uh, looking towards God in everything, we believe this in faith. Someone is praying for a future, come on now, for a future husband. That's all right. Someone is praying for the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying for peace. Someone is praying for finances for their son in school. God can do it because he can. And so in this, before we pray, I want to share a word with you, if you don't mind. Part of the reason sometimes why our prayers are not answered or why we feel that our prayers cannot be answered is because we need to also resist temptation even in our prayer lives. We must resist temptation even in our prayer lives. So in this, I want us to continue to pray that God will be with each one of us as we look to him in all things. I want to give you this word. Can you bow your heads with me as I give you this word? Father, I ask you now that as we look at this word, that your Holy Spirit will bless us. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I took the time to do this because every day when you when I open my emails, there are countless emails and countless um, texts of prayers. And if you're able to hear some of these prayers, you'll recognize that you're not the only one praying. You're not the only one agonizing. You're not the only one whose faith is going up and down. It's important to know that there's others who are agonizing along with you. In this book, Steps to Christ, I love this book. In this book, Steps to Christ, it brings us to the understanding that God, watch this now, that God wants us to be prayerful. And when I read this to you, I want you to get this. When I read this to you, you've got to recognize that prayer is the key. The darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. I'm going to say it again. The darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. The whispered temptations of the enemy entice them to sin. And it is all because they do not make use of the privileges that God has given them in the divine appointment of prayer. Come on, come on, listen to this. Why should the sons and daughters of God be reluctant to pray when prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock heaven's storehouse where are, where are treasured the boundless resources of omnipotence? Which means if you got the key to something that's unlimiting, wow, then use it. You know, without uh, unceasing prayer and diligently watching, we are in danger of growing careless and of deviating from the right path. So if we're not diligently praying, and if we're not, and if we're not diligently watching, we're growing uh, in danger 
of careless and deviating from the right path. So God is telling us, if you want to stay on the right path, you got to be a person of prayer. If you want things to happen, you got to be a person of prayer. If you want to get what you believe in God's will is for you, you've got to use the key that unlocks all of his unlimited powers. The adversary seeks continually to obstruct the way to the mercy seat. And we may not be, I mean, by earnest supplication and faith, obtain grace and power to resist temptation. So we, we got stuff in our way that's causing us not to get what we need, not to get what we need in our lives. We are allowing things to get in our way, whether it be relationships, whether it be uh, time management, whether it be even uh, our, our diets, whatever it may be, God is asking us to keep on praying so that nothing will get in the way of where God needs us to be. I want to read something of that of that excerpt again. It says, why should the sons and daughters of God be reluctant to pray when prayer is the key in the hand of faith to unlock heaven's storehouse? Mm. God is promising us that if we pray, he will answer. God is promising us that he will give us all of uh, the unlimited power that we need through him and through our faith. And I believe that faith also helps us to resist temptation. I want to share this with you also. The, 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 this reading tells us that the devil is going to make sure that he puts things in our way. So we've got to resist. We've got to resist. I want to share this text with you. It comes from James uh, chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 6, 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Y'all didn't hear that just now. I need you to know that this word is telling us to submit to God. So if you're going to submit to God, you need to be a praying person. If you're going to submit to God, you got to uh, give yourself over to him. If you're going to submit to God, you got to submit to his will. If you're going to submit to God, you got to be consistently in prayer. Because it tells us in James chapter 4, verse 7, submit and resist. Submit and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Got this crazy statement for you today. You can't walk with God holding hands with the devil. You can't. You can't walk with God and holding hands with the devil. So this is telling us that if we continue to pray, we're putting aside our ways. We're putting aside the obstruction. We're putting aside our non-faith selves. We're putting aside what we think can't happen. But when we pray and we resist and we submit, everything can go God's way in our lives. That's why when you hear individuals wanting to send their children to school and you don't have the loot, I want you to know that God can do it. When your relationships are failing, I believe that God can do it. If the finances are, are not there, I believe that God can do it. But it's not what I believe. It's about what you believe in Jesus Christ. And so right now, I share with you this, this that if you want to walk with God, if you want to walk with God, you got to develop that prayer life with him. And it simply tells us that the darkness of the evil one encloses those who neglect to pray. The whisper temptations of the enemy entices them to sin. And it is all because we do not make use of the privileges that God has given us in the divine appointment of prayer. So you want to unlock heaven's storehouse? Pray. If you want to be diligent, pray. If you want to have unceasing, uh, an unceasing prayer life, continue to pray. If you don't want to be careless, pray. If you want to deviate from the path that God has given, pray. Because God has given us the opportunity to resist, submit, and to be a part of uh, to, to be a part of um, His kingdom, even now through prayer. It is all possible. So I'm sharing this text again with you. you ready? Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. And resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Well, you wrote down your prayer requests, right? All your prayer requests are written down. All of your prayer requests are there. And we want to pray right now for all of your prayer requests because we believe that God still hears and answers prayers. I also want to share with you uh, that our brother Sully has been sending us uh the words of the day, the picture of the day, the encouragement of the day that we're sharing each and every day. And so this one clearly tells us, stop asking people 
who have never been where you're going for directions to where God wants to take you. Hmm. Stop asking people who have never been where you're going for directions to where God wants to take you. I want you to share that with someone else. Share that with someone. And as we pray, know this much, that God wants to take us in a direction that's higher. So let's begin uh, our steps towards him in prayer. I ask you that you bow your heads with me as we look to answer, um, to, to ask God for what we want and what we need in our lives. Let's pray together. Father, again, we come before you thanking you for all that you've done for us. We thank you for life. We thank you for strength. We thank you for the very opportunity of prayer. We thank you for the opportunity of praise. We thank you for the opportunity of, of just being alive and awake and well. We're asking now for your Holy Spirit at this time as we look to make this day an awesome day in you. But we recognize that it can't be awesome without you. So we're praying right now for the things we need and want in our lives. We lift before you the very fact that you are a good and great God. We come before you thanking you for being an awesome individual in our lives. But right now, though we can't name all of them, we called out to you all these different prayer requests in faith, knowing that you will answer our prayers. We lift before you, Natasha. We lift before you, Vivette. We lift before you, Sully. We lift before you, JT. We lift before you, Vivia. We lift before you, Taime. We lift before you, uh, Demetrius. We lift before you all these names, Anika. We lift before you, Meredith. We lift before you, I mean, all these names, Lord, that you know them by heart. You know their, their, their will. You know their wants. And we're asking you, Lord, to just give them unceasing, unceasing power from above. We're asking you also to help us today to resist the devil. But we're asking you to help us to submit to you. And as we submit to you and resist, he will flee from us. So, Lord, help our finances. Help our relationships. Help our faith. Help our children. Help our parents. Help our jobs. Help our uh, um, our relatives. Help those who are bereaved among us. We lift before you the Thompson family, Lord. Lord, Pastor Thompson, who walked in the way of, of this message, we ask you to be with them. Be with, uh, be with Janelle as she goes and she uh, is looking for safe traveling mercies. Lord, bless her in a marked way. Be with her parents as she's going to see them even now. But more than that, Lord, I ask you that you give us strength to resist, give us strength to submit, and give us strength to walk on today. And Lord, even though I'm praying, I'm asking you to give everyone the unction of the Holy Spirit to continue in their prayer life so they'll be stronger than they've ever been. Help us as we continue to take those necessary steps towards you. In Jesus' name, amen. And so today, today, I thank God for all that he's done. I thank him for continuing to let us be a part of his family. And today, I give you the, that very opportunity to keep on praying, to keep on looking forward to him, knowing that he can do all things in our lives. And so today, I ask you that as we're finished at this point, as we have closed off on this point, there's an afterglow, y'all. There's an afterglow. And we're asking you to download Zoom because this afterglow even glow, goes next month. So in this afterglow, well, we... Uh, we ask you to take the time out to go to our Zoom, uh, and um, the meeting ID is 480-852-638. I put it up on the screen for those who are on our channels. I know that you can continue this afterglow moment right after this. I want to share with you that God is a good God, and he is an awesome God. And as we continue to walk today, we ask that we'll continue to walk with him. Be blessed, everybody. Continue to walk with God. For some time now, Bible Boot Camp has been reaching individuals around the world. The familiar call is given to wake up and stretch your spiritual muscles. Beginning 5 a.m. every morning on different platforms, we want to make sure we have the resources to be the best for those who tune in for devotions. From humble beginnings, Full Circle Ministries now has a mobile app, updated website, reliable streaming, and now on several platforms, pastorpaulgram.com, 
Facebook Live on four profiles, Praise Vision, YouTube, and of course, on the Full Circles Ministry app. This all takes a great deal of prayers, commitment, and funds. Full Circle Ministries have been supported by donations and asking for your contributions as we look to be relevant for Christ. If you are led to support through donations, please visit FullCircleMinistries.com, PastorPaulGram.com, or our mobile app and select the tab Give for one-time giving or monthly giving, which is tax-deductible.